Did one of your quail look fine yesterday and then just suddenly die for no reason? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house, if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're going to be answering one of those questions. Why did my quail die? This is probably one of the most common questions I get. Uh, people write to me and say, the bird looked fine yesterday. Today, for some reason, it died. There's no sign of injury, no symptoms of any kind of disease. What could it be? And, you know, I understand the desire to know what's causing the issue. But the simple fact is I'm probably not going to be able to answer that question for you. There's just so many different things that could cause a bird to die. Um, it could get cold. It could get uh, wet and not be able to warm itself up. It could have some kind of genetic issue that it was born with. It, you just don't know. I mean, there's no way to tell. It could have been uh, maybe something startled. It jumped up, hit its head just right. Although it's rare for quail to kill themselves that way, it does happen. It could be a disease, uh, some kind of, uh, oh, oh, who knows, one of the many diseases that can affect quail. I, I can't tell you what the reason that your bird died. Chances are though, it's nothing to worry about. Birds are gonna die from time to time. It's just a part of raising animals. You're gonna have one that every once in a while for an unknown reason dies and you don't know what caused it. Now you could take the bird to a vet. You can have them open it up. You can have them figure out probably what the reason was. They may or may not be able to tell you for sure and it's gonna cost you a whole lot of money. So my advice is, don't worry about it. Unless you start seeing a reoccurring issue where you have one bird dying a day or two or three birds dying a day and there's no nothing you can tell that's wrong with them, don't worry about it. If you do run into an issue where you have birds starting to die, there's almost always going to be some kind of symptom. So take a look at what the bird's exhibiting. Is it got nasally discharged? Does it have overly watery eyes? Is it lethargic for several days? Is it sneezing? Is it Does it have runny... Um, bowel movements, does it, there's all kinds of things to look for in that. Look up those symptoms and just do a Google search. These symptoms, quail, and it will tell you what the most likely disease is and how to treat that. You'll, you'll find somebody that, that can give that information. I'm not going to run through all of those situations in this video because there's a ton of them and it, it's just going to be too much. My point is, if it's just one bird, don't worry about it. Don't stress it out. Same thing with rabbits. If it's just one rabbit and you're not having an issue with any others, just let it go. That's all you can do, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, there's some good and some bad that comes with raising animals. One of the bad things is they're going to die from time to time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, God bless.